Behind me is Fisher Peak near Cook City. We just set up our weather station at Lulu Pass and I was pretty surprised. We have two feet of snow here. What this means is if there's enough snow to ski a ride, which there is, it was actually great skiing coming down here, there's more than enough snow for an avalanche. And a great example of that is an avalanche that occurred just a few days ago. Uh, today's Wednesday. It happened on Sunday in the Bridger Range. Three skiers were caught in an avalanche. So the real point here is we have enough snow for avalanches. So if you're heading out for some early season turns, make sure you check your beacon that you have fresh batteries. Pull out your shovel and your probe. Make sure they're working. On the way in this morning, we saw a dry snow avalanche that probably happened on Sunday up near the ridge on Henderson Mountain. And then from yesterday, over on the south facing slopes of Scotch Bonnet, we've got some small point releases that happened uh, probably yesterday when it got really warm. So there's a little mixed bag of conditions and things are going to change a lot in the next month. So just try and be heads up, start thinking about avalanches. Right now, we've got about two feet of snow up here near Lulu Pass. And it's all, it's great to see, it's all warm, dense snow. You can make a snowball with it. So that's great for long-term stability. But the real point is that as good as this looks right now, a lot can change in the next month. This snow is not going anywhere. This is going to be the foundation of our snowpack. So we're going to be really curious to see how this two feet of snow evolves over the next month as we get closer to December and we start getting some of these bigger storms. It'd be real important to track the uh, metamorphism of the snow crystals in here.